The Dragon Balls are the essential part of Dragon Ball. It's the name after all. They are what the series was passed around from the start until recently when it all derailed from that. Over the years, a lot of wishes have been granted by the Dragon Balls, but in the canyon, they haven't gone into the overuse of them and the fact that there might be a day when the Dragon Balls are no longer by our side. The only part of Dragon Ball that dove into that was Dragon Ball GT. And for many, Dragon Ball GT was bad, I'm not gonna lie. There was some good parts of it, like the Super Saiyan 4 transformation, but overall the series was bad. Although in all of the bad, there was a good concept in it. The concept of the Dragon Balls having an expression day. A day when they are not with us, they are against us. A story could be told in different ways. Depending on who is reading, the story can be interpreted and received differently because each sees the world in a different way. We are all wearing glasses that are tainted with how we feel and how we think. The concept of making something that was always a tool for good into a tool of evil isn't something new in anime. We've seen how that turned out in Dragon Ball but what happened after? What happened after Dragon Ball GT? After Goku has disappeared with Shinra? Was there something more to it? The story didn't just end there, there must be something after it. Of the secret that Goku and Shinra share, the secret to the life after. What lies beyond the abyss, the well of the lost, is searching for a place to belong. Wake up to the world of Dragon Ball GT. After the low-born Saiyan warrior became a universal legend, he disappeared along with the seven dragon ball so where did you go goku before all of that the story went like this appeared in front of goku was omega shinran whose power was so immense that he couldn't beat him even in his super saiyan 4 form and thus he fused with vegeta giving birth to gogeta they were winning but before finishing the fight they defused and went back to where they started. They were no match for Omega Shinron. So the weight of the world was relying on Goku. And thus a universal spirit bomb was used by him. Which has taken out Omega Shinron. And restored peace on earth. After everything was said and done. Goku has left the planet with Shinron. Everyone has had an awakening in the aftermath. For the end of the story has led to the start of another. Our heroes see no victory here, only another battle to be fought. Before the death ball of Omega Shinran defeated Goku, he heard a voice. Wake up, Goku. As he wakes up, he tells him that he's dead. You've seen him leaving his body. He's hearing everyone's voice telling him, calling for him, asking him if he's alright. He doesn't want to die, he's Goku. If there's anything he can do to be able to fight again, he will do it, no matter what it is. And the voice tells him if you're that determined. Since a piece of your conscience still remains, it is possible. But there's a price to pay. And it will not be your body that pays, but your spirit. Such will be your penalty for relying too heavily on my powers for so long. And thus... He emerges. It's Shinron. Shinron explains that the appearance of the shadow dragons wasn't solely limited to the overuse of the dragon balls. The peace that they long for can only be achieved with, with the purification of the dragon balls. After which, he will have to do battle with someone. The person to blame is Aro Kaioshin with a malefic intention on a multiverse scale. So it's a Kaioshin, an evil one. And this is the secret that Goku and Shinran share, the secret of reviving Goku 
in exchange for something else. But what is that something else? We see in different multiverse, the different Gokus, the Goku that battled, pierced and achieved God level. We see Trunks and the first time that Goku achieved the Super Saiyan. Then Frieza wakes up, he's alive again. But how is that? But Frieza on Namek isn't the only one who's alive and this is in the Dragon Ball GT world. The Ginyu Force is alive also, but also Cell, the foes that Goku fought over the years have been revived with their past intact and their powers increased. And on the other hand, in Master Roshi's place, someone knocks as Krillin and Master Roshi are in there. They see who that is, it's Goku, he's alive again, he's back. They're happy to see him, but what happened all this time? He says that he's sorry, he had to take care of some stuff before coming. They don't care, and along with the comeback of Goku, changes have been made in the capsule corpse also. Vegeta is training day and night, honing his powers. But as he's training, someone walks in with a tail, and we could tell it's Goku from Vegeta's reaction. Krillin is shocked. What are you talking about? I have to say it again. I'm here to kill you. So this is not Goku. He has come back to take them out to kill them. But why? He doesn't want to explain. All they should know is that he will kill them now. But Krillin is still pure. He doesn't know why Goku is saying this. With that smirk on his face, Goku goes in on Krillin straight at his neck, throwing him away way into the ocean he has taken him out he tells master roshi don't worry now it's you he asks him are you really goku which goku happily replies with really grams did you forget who you're talking to it's me goku master roshi still doesn't get it is this really him but this is the secret that he kept with shinran the secret of someone to fight of him challenging his spirit spirit of Goku is still thinking what happened to him is he mind controlled is he taken over by negative energy this has never happened before and if he runs or resists Goku will kill him so there's nothing he can do he can't run he can't fight him he doesn't have a chance he's stuck between a rock and the hard place somewhere else on earth Tien is fighting someone he's giving it all he has and it's Goku but Tien is no match he doesn't have any choice though to defeat Goku and somewhere else on earth Goku comes back to his home also so there's a lot of versions of him in this world he's talking to Gohan and Chi Chi and eating with them but suddenly something happens to his mind he says that he can't eat he tells Gohan to follow him he wants to fight him now they leave their home and go to a distant land staring at each other Goku starts transforming to his Super Saiyan 4 form and then he fully transforms he tells him you don't get the situation you are in you will die soon Gohan so this is another Goku has changed but why? what was that secret with Shinran? he tells him since he had this much potential and slacked off and didn't prove himself it's a crime that he will never forgive him for and goes at him dealing a lot of damage to him with a lot of attacks one after the other he tells him transform to the form that elder kai unlocked for you he tells him it was during the battle with Pooh, the one where he unlocked your hidden potential he says that he has more potential than goten or trunks he wasted it gohan tells him that he can no longer use that form which makes goku more angry it was a waste of time then elder kai wasted his time on you you have neglected your training he launches himself at him and kicks him away and now in such a frail body you lack the power to match me in combat the story this far is of goku in different forms and different ideas embodied in him multiplying to this evil but why and what will happen next as the pattern continues more and more Gohan tells him, was it not you who told me, it's your choice to become a scholar, that I was free to choose my own destiny? Why do you fixate on combat to the exclusion of all else around you? He dials down his phone and says, forget it. You're giving up? No, 
I simply see no reason to follow in your footsteps. I am a grown man now. I've done my fair share of fighting. Now, my only concern is my family. And told in this perspective, I get it. I get why he's thinking this way, why he is this way. Suddenly something happens to Goku in his mind. He's hurting. He says, get out of my head. He yells at Gohan, kill me Gohan. I can't maintain my Super Saiyan 4 form for much longer. But then it all makes clear, calms down. There's a voice in the sky telling him what to do. Super Saiyan 4 seems to be the only way to remain in control of his body and mind. He doesn't have long in this form and the order was to take him and Videl out and then pan but as they're talking he feels another key and teleports to it he teleports to the other Goku there he sees him so what is happening in the demonic realm we see Whis talking to that evil guy the stage is now set Mr. Dark Devil King the resurrection of powerful foes and the appearance of two Gokus has sown the seeds of chaos in the universe. A great battle is about to begin, and it's all thanks to the evil time. In the battlefield cell is watching, and both Gokus don't know why the other is here, why there's two of them. They don't know why they're doing this. As they get closer and face each other, Goku faces Goku, the evil against the pure. This is the secret that they shared with Shinran after Dragon Ball GT. The will of someone coming in on earth and fighting him. Not with a foe that will challenge not the body of Goku but his spirit. To purify the Dragon Balls he has to defeat this foe. And no one knows about this except Goku. That's why he has come back. This is why he's facing himself. And this has symbolic meaning. We all face ourselves on daily basis, face the things that we hate about ourselves, our mental problems, our way of thinking, of living. We face a version of us that we hate, a version that was all bad. But to survive, we have to defeat this version of us. This is what Gok has to defeat, the version of him, the one that he hates, the bad of his spirit manifested in him. And this was the story of Dragon Ball. Thank you for watching. I really, 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 really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And if you didn't, dislike. Once again, stay safe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.